So, Bob, just to start us off, man, how'd you feel about the first day being out here? Oh, man, or it was. First day, but first couple, first couple of days. days, man. It's a blessing to get this opportunity. A lot of people, you feel me, um, would just be be ecstatic to be in this uh, position. So, it's a blessing to get this opportunity to go out there and compete with my brothers, compete with my teammates, compete with my coaches, you know, get, get used to the system. It's just, it's a fun experience for sure. So much energy. Yes, right sir. Away. We saw so much energy from Keith Williams yeah. too. Out okay. There. How do y'all bounce off one of those? Oh man, Coach Dog. Oh <laughs> man, that's my dog. I ain't gonna lie. He one of them ones. He one of them for sure. Like he a real one. He gonna we gonna we gonna have a great relationship, and I think he gonna make me a great receiver. Yes, sir. Was it was it a lot like the playbook? Did, did it feel like oh my god, what is this, or was it okay? Nah, it's uh, it's smooth. We walk through everything before we go to practice, so everything is nothing like unfamiliar before we go out there and run it for real. So, um, and I came from a pro style offense, so it's like nothing that I haven't seen before. Coach Signetti from my uh from Pitt actually helped me prepare me for this kind of offense. How was it signing your contract? Oh, that's a blessing, man. I've been working for this dream since I was eight years old. So just being able to get that opportunity and finally get to sign my NFL contract, man, I can't even explain it in words how, how it made me feel. What's it been like fitting in here with the Saints so far? Oh, it's, it's man, it's a great culture out here. We in Enola. Saints, man, come on, man. This is a great building, great staff. I can't complain. I can't, man, we work hard, and they just going to bring the best out of us and make us better great football players and great young men. So I cannot complain. How's the transition been from Pittsburgh to Louisiana? Ooh, oh my God, it was hot yesterday. Oh, oh man, that was yesterday, man. It was so hot and humid. It was hot today, but it wasn't as hot as yesterday. So that's probably the biggest difference, just the weather. This is the humidity, the heat. Um, but I, when I, uh, I played at Louisiana Tech, so I'm really not. It's nothing new to me, but it's something that I got to get back used to for sure. Yeah, I never heard you were cramping up. Oh yeah, juice. I was cramping for sure. I got. I think I did three pickle juices this morning. Uh, Pedialyte, all that. I got it in for sure. I got to make sure I stay on top of my hydration. I got to get it right, right here. So you feel me? <laughs> How do you think uh, your skills just really trans translate into Clint's offense? Um, well, like I said, I played in a similar offense last year, so it wasn't nothing that I wasn't used to or something that I haven't been in the position to do or played in the role to do. So um, I just basically just fit back, fit right in. We ran similar concepts at uh, Pitt, so I just go in there and just lean on my training, trust my coaches, and just get my, uh, get the playbook down. I think I'll be all right. What do you think about your play style that can fit uniquely into this wide receiver room? Um, I feel like uh, I play I play fast. I'm a vertical threat. I feel like I stretch the defense really good. So um, I feel like I can help the offense. I just want to um, – I don't care what I do, really. really. I just want to be able to uh, compete, and I just want to be able to play a role in helping the team get some wins. Have they talked to you at all a, a little bit about, you know, your what your role can be in this offense and where, where you can grow all those things? Um, right now we just learned the playbook. Uh, I'm playing the outside receiver right now, so um, – I'm just learning my role right there um, in rookie minicamp, and then as when we get with, with the vets, I'll, I'll know a little more for sure. But Have I they started to identify some things that maybe like, like you're working on that you're focused on over the course of the um, Yeah, like, well, we, we got a mentality in the room. So, like, we just kind of building our game off the uh, mentality in the room. Like, Coach Dub introduced the mentality, and we got to – it's a standard we got to, you feel me, meet. So, right now we're just working on, like, setting the standard in the room and meeting the standard. That's all we're doing right now. Like, about coming back to How much different is it than La Tech? You know, from, from La Tech? Oh man, that was fun. I ain't gonna lie, La Tech was a great time. But um, I resting in New Orleans is a lot different. I ain't gonna like it's real different. I ain't got to experience New Orleans how everybody like everybody Saints people that been out here. But I'm I'm looking forward to experiencing the city, the culture. But I don't know. I don't, you feel me? I think I I it looks different, but I don't know how different it is yet until I get to experience the, the real New Orleans. Bob, you wore the number zero. Yes, sir. Was there a reason behind that? Um, no, not really. I just like the number. Like it was just unique because a lot of people didn't have it, so I wanted to be one of the ones that put it on and um just made it made it special.